As president of Ghana, Nana Akufuado, has launched the 1 billion Ghanaian cities fund for MSMEs in the country. I am now joined by Kosi Yanke Aye, executive director of the National Board of the Small Scale Industries, to speak on this. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. Now let's let's talk Thank about certainly. Let's talk about the coronavirus alleviation program CAP business support scheme, which you know entailed the one billion Ghanaian cities fund for MSMEs. Thank you. So the CAP business support scheme was actually launched by the president of Ghana, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Kufuado. And this was off the back of the COVID-19 pandemic, where he realized that there has been a negative impact on the lives of businesses, especially the micro, small and medium enterprises that are the backbone of the Ghanaian economy. So the launch was initially a 600 million Ghana CD fund, which grew with support from participating financial institutions to 1 billion Ghana CDs to be able to support businesses that had been negatively impacted by the COVID pandemic and those that were producing goods and services to support the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. All right, now I understand that the MBSSI is the administering agency. Kindly give us more details regarding this. So yes, the National Board for Small Scale Industries, which is a government agency that is set up to strengthen and grow the MSME sector, was mandated to be the implementing agency for this. In Ghana, the NBSSI has a very unique model, a model that really focuses on providing various supports for businesses. It has a model where we are providing not only financial access, but access to technical support, providing digitization, and also ensuring that MSMEs are following the right regulatory support that they need to be able to grow and strengthen their businesses. And this is all in alignment with the growth of the economy and the direction that the president had actually pushed for us to be able to move these businesses and graduate them in the growth as we went along. So the National Board for Small Scale Industries was specifically set up to do this kind of work. And across the country, we have a very interesting model where we have implementing agencies in the various districts where we take business development support to the doorsteps of Ghanaians across the length and breadth of the nation, which is what we've been able to do for the past 35 years. Now, what's the percentage of MSMEs in Ghana and how would this fund ultimately help them in their businesses? Yes, in Ghana, um, the MSME sector is almost close to 80% of the economy. So that shows you the number of um, businesses and the role and importance of the MSME in the economy and in the nation. And you also look at the numbers and formally, and I think it might be very similar in Nigeria as well, where about close to 70% of that is in the informal sector. And so with the work that we are trying to do to see how we can move them and support them and really sustain them at a time such as this. So when you look further at the data and the breakdown, you'd realize that 80% of this target or the MSMEs are in the micro sector. And then you look at it further and you realize about 15% are small businesses. And then 1.5% of that is in the medium, um, medium enterprises. And really looking at the various classifications based on employment, because we're looking at really how best within this COVID pandemic to ensure that businesses are retaining human resources, which is very dear to the hearts of the president. And so ensuring that we put in place the right structures, the right tools and the right uh, standards so that at the end of the day, when COVID is over and done with, which we hope will be very soon, um, more of the businesses will be sustained and strengthened going forward. Finally, before I let you go, in terms of the interest rates on these loans and then the types of loans and repayment terms, would you like to shed more light on this, please? Yes. Um, one of the things we did, I think, when the president made the announcement was really looking at the operationalization of these funds and actually how do we operationalize it across. So one of the main things we did was take into consideration the various associations and trade groups across the nation because they were very vital in allowing us to identify where the businesses were and how they were. So after various stakeholder engagements, 
I think we drew the conclusion that it was important at this point to ensure that we are sustaining the growth and not looking at more of an expansion. So really looking at businesses that would not come and say, we're looking for funding to expand our businesses. And so to be able to do that, we looked at an interest rate where it was 3%, which is the lowest in the country. And one of the reasons why we even put the interest rate was also to ensure that there was some dignity you know, in, involved in this, because you didn't want a situation where people were down and you were saying that, okay, now you get everything for free. But an interest rate of 3%, uh, percent, a one-year, um, more up to one-year moratorium, to be able to um, support the work that was being done. And then um, what we also looked at was a three to two year repayment rate from the time that the funds were given. All right, thank you so much, Kose Yanke Aye of uh, Ghana. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much and thanks for